Annabelle came to us um, via one of my mentoring uh, clients, Mark and Jackie. Annabelle's a adorable um, so Jess had a call then a conference call because we used to put people into small conference calls again guys time is going to be your biggest problem so the sooner you can put people into small conference calls rather than one-on-one -on -one, the better it's four times as efficient isn't it they will ask the same amount of questions but what's also useful is they will ask a question that another person didn't realize they needed to know you answer that question you remove the objection from the other person so before you feel like what do you mean conference calls? Who am I to do conference calls? You know, I, I'm not that, you know, I'm not sort of big. Put your investors into conference calls, have them scheduled for the whole year and say, let's get you scheduled into a conference call. It's a very efficient use of your time and it's actually very effective for your investors. They also see you're playing with other people. So you're jettison your prima donnas because <laughs> they ain't signing up to a conference call. I, I don't do conference calls. Oh, really? I don't do you then, <laughs> you know, so get them into that conference call as fast as possible. And then we had um, a couple of one to one calls, a first office meet and an <coughs> investor day meet and then a second office meet. And what was adorable is she brought apples from her garden. Mm -hmm. It was so nice. It was just, I know it's a small thing, you know, but how nice. And then what was rather nice is we had another investor who was going through a very trauma, traumatic time. And Terry, who was in our business, who was wonderful at, at the time, made apple crumble and custard. And this other investor was, was going through a dreadful divorce, came through the next day, hadn't eaten for two days, and we just went, eat. So it was quite nice. Annabelle's apples fed this other guy whose life was falling apart. So <laughs> eat, get some sugar into you. So it was all very karma, you know. <laughs> So, touch points to getting to a JV, nine. And time frame to get to a yes, four months. In, in the end, I think we tried to do two or three JVs and each time the deal fell out of bed. So we didn't end up doing anything with her, but, but she was a wonderful, wonderful person. Um, and the agreement was there. It was just that, it was just very bad luck. The two or three deals that we agreed to do with her, the vendor pulled out each time. So it happens.